Hey guys, welcome back to a new episode of Gunpla TV. We are yep. on episode number 310. Ten, ten. 310 mm. now. Tenth welcome away. back, Dave. Thank you, yes. It's been a while. It has been, but How's I'm back. It? You're back again. You have a new Pacific Rim kit for us today? No, not yet. Okay. <laughs> but anyway, we have some other stuff to talk about today and some new stuff that just came in. Well, actually, some of the stuff actually didn't come in. This has actually been out been here for, for a, while. a while, but I've never had a chance to bring it onto the show, and we still have this in stock, so finally I'm going to have a chance to get around to this one, probably. This is the uh, Frame Arm Girls Hatsune Miku version. Yes. So this is a lot it's of people cool. were looking forward to this one, and... I think it's wicked. I mean, Hatsune Miku is quite popular. Yeah. And then there was another one that just came out. Actually, this one just came out this month, and I've, I've been, I, I, it's just kind of a crazy Japanese-only type of idea, and it's called, it's from yeah, this series called Shinkarion. So it's like a Shinkansen bullet train here in Japan, but they've, it's now like become a robot. Yeah. So you still see the train, you still see the robot. I don't think it actually transforms into Some of them do, don't they? You train, can put them back into the Shinkansen. Into the train form. I, this one doesn't look like it. It looks like it's only permanently in robot form. But that's going to be quite interesting. This is not Kotobukiya. This is from Good, Good Smile, Smile Company in the Modroid line. So we'll probably take a look at this oh, one as well. that was the one that was well. boxes ripped. So. <clears throat> yeah, so uh, if there's ever a case where like something happens to these boxes, like if it comes in maybe a little bit damaged, so we ship the pristine stuff out to you guys and then I'll just take the slightly damaged stuff here. Because for me, it doesn't really matter if the box yeah. is perfect or not. And then Dave, why don't you tell me about this one? What well, is this, this one? Well, this is the uh, Frame Arms Girls Silphy, and we've had one of these out before. But okay. this one's the striker version, so it comes with a different armor set. Did we? I, you know, to be honest, quite honest, I know Lindsay's built a few of the frame yeah. arm girls before, and then we had Boss Man on, and he did another one. Yeah. I don't remember ever seeing like the miniature shrunken girl versions on this show before. Oh, we did one. We did a few on Toy Tengoku. Oh, Toy Tengoku. Okay. Like tiny little kits, right? They're, right. They're, yeah. They they're were not a bit... like this big. This is actually quite like normal size, I think. Yeah. Yeah, no, those other ones were the, um, with the like really small, tiny ones. Okay. But um, so, they were top of finicky and badly made. Ah, uh, well, that explains yeah. it. Well, are you going to build this one for us? Yes, I am. All right, so you're going to join me again next, next week, week then. Yes. All we'll right, do. so look forward to seeing you again next week. For sure. Anyway, what stuff All right, have so you made this for week? For this week, I actually have three things. So last week. We previewed, we kind of showed these in the, the preview of what came in new. So we had the Keroro. This is actually an anime series that's been around for a little while here in yeah. Japan. And it's quite, it's quite famous. It's quite popular. I, I mean, I asked my girlfriend, I was like, do you know this? She's like, yeah. Really? <laughs> so I've seen she, it, but I haven't, you know, I've never watched it or anything. Oh, okay. I've yeah, seen she, it like in shops. Uh, I thought it was a kid's program, to be honest, uh, but I'm not sure. It, it looks like a kid's program, yeah. right? I'm not quite sure. But this is, I guess it's the 20th anniversary, so that's the reason for this one came out. I actually, I didn't really pay too much attention to it. Bandai has had out Kerao kits before, so this is actually like a reissue, a special reissue of some Kerao kits, but oh, we've cool. never had those kits on this show before, so I figured this is a good chance to nice finally thing. take a look at that. And also, we had from the Full Metal Panic, we had the Arbalest with the new backpack. It looks like a normal plane. It kind of looks like a normal plane. That's got some good sized wings to it. Yeah. And then there's another kit that this is something that's been around for a while and I've been dying to build build one. They, they, Fujimi keeps reissuing it in like different box versions and this box version actually just came out. And this is not like Gundam or sci-fi related but this is actually a 1-200 scale Cannon. This is the 18-inch guns from the Yamato. So this is special boxing comes with parts to clear build parts. clear I think parts. That's awesome that they do clear parts. Right, and it also has a display stand. So it's kind of interesting. You have a ship kit, but it's not like the full ship. It's just, mm, just part, part of a ship. I thought ship. that was really weird when I saw it. Right. <laughs> so this is kind of quite interesting. I've been dying to build it. This is one of those new Fujimi kits that's 100% snaps together, and parts do come molded in color. Of course. I didn't go through and paint or detail or anything like that. So I built it straight out of the box. And let's take a look at the gun as well. So we're going to take a look at three things today. Why don't you say we get right, right into our it. close look? Let's go. Okay. 
All right, so first off, let's take a closer look off at this Carrero Gunso Plamo Collection. Carrero Gunso and Carrero Robo Mark II Anniversary Special. Ooh. I was just reading that off of the box there. And you can see right here on the box that it does note that this is for the 20th anniversary. And you can see all the different characters that they have in this series. I guess they all kind of really look the same. They're just kind of different color variations with slightly different different stuff all right so what is kind of what is new with this kit dave do you know no idea okay so let's take a look at that you see these red parts the star yeah. this gun the shield these parts are molded now in this kind of metallic looking nice color plastic yeah. so that apparently is new for this kit and for the corolla here hello this guy now has his he, he comes with like, I mean, these are really Gundam looking weapons, aren't they? Yeah. A bomb, a gun, and a bazooka rifle. These are also now molded in this kind of more metallic y looking grayish plastic. So, this is also new for this version. Awesome. Isn't that awesome? So, let's kind of take a closer look at these two guys. There was one cool feature about this guy that I've never seen them. The runners for this kit said it was originally made in 2006, so this is actually a 13-year-old kit. But they have this kind of cool feature. Let me just pop off his head here so I can show this closer. So he has these normal eyes right here, but normally you, when you build the kit and they give you the stickers, let me grab the stickers here. You kind of, you have to like choose like which stickers do you want to do? Do you want to have like the slanted eyes or do you oh, want right, to have yeah. like the open eyes? So you always kind of have to make a choice when you build kits like this, right? Not the case with this guy, actually. And they have this kind of cool little, oh, little trick feature. On the back, you see that little pole there. And what you can do is you can push the no eyes in. Way. And then you can kind of see on the inside. No way. You can rotate it around here. And then just pop. And there you go. You have a, you can just rotate it around to get different choices of eyes. And this is from 2006. Yeah. So isn't that kind of cool? That's like futuristic from the past. That's cool. I've never seen that picture. Right. Before. I, you know, I've, I've never, I mean, I've never tried to build one of these kits before, but that was kind of cool. I've never seen that before. Yeah. And he comes with his little stand. This guy's not so big, so there's not a whole lot of parts to it. Like if you've done one of those little Poochie Guy type kits. Yeah, same type of thing. It's the same, really, really the same type what of thing. What about this guy? All right. So this guy, no, this is really cool. If, if you've ever out, if you've ever played the game Rule of Warcraft. Yeah. Then there's this one famous like mount because you can get like little mounts that you can for your character that you can fly around in and just this thing reminded me so much of that. Let me see if I can pop the arms off. But you guys can probably tell just by what I'm talking about. There's this mount in the game called Mimron's head and it's this giant robot round robot head and you sit on top and that is exactly what this <laughs> is. It's Mimron's head except now he has arms and he has legs. So this is kind of a, quite a cool set and of course he's got the little guy that sits on the top there. Let me see if I can pop this back together. There we go. The little guy. And he's got this cool little bike. Let me pop this out as well here. So yeah, he's got this cool little bike and it actually has a little like fin. Cute, Whoops, get it? it on the camera there. He's got this little fin so he can just ride this around. Isn't that cool? Yeah. And this is just like a little tiny, tiny thing. Of course, this guy though, his eyes don't rotate. You have to, this one you actually do have to choose which eyes that you want. You mm. have a choice of these ones or the round, or the big rounds ones. And I went for the big round ones, but yeah, and when you want to have it in the mobile seat, you just pop it back in and da -da, and there you go. So he just pilots his giant walking armor. So, I mean, this thing is not going to win any awards for, uh, what do you say, what is it, move, uh, Movability. articulation. It's it's kind of, whoops, I'll just leave him off. It's kind of basic. I mean, it's, it's not too bad, really, but there's nothing, like, really too special to write home about as far as articulation <laughs> goes on this kit. But... Quite, there are a number of stickers that go onto this kit, the mouth, the stars, and on the wings as well. So this is a kind of a cool little interesting thing. Okay. And it was a quick build, and Take I was done seat. with it quite shortly. Now, I'm not going to do the transformation, but I'm going to bring the box on over here so you can see. It also has the ability to transform from the robot mode that we have it here into this flying kind of jet mode. Yeah. Doesn't that look kind of cool? Yeah. It is quite the interesting, cool kit. So maybe if you want to build something new and unique, hey, I, I recommend this. It was quite cool. It was quite fun to build. I went ahead and built this kit. And I have to tell you, if you guys remember, probably, what was it? We've done this a before. A year right? ago. I've done this before. And actually, 
this is the one that okay. I did before. Yeah, yeah. All right, but there were some different parts, so I did have to build a couple of different things to get it into the new form here. So let me take a look. Oh, let me... It's exactly the same as the. Uh, All the right, idea. so right, so the the legs are the same, the torso is the same, the arms are the same. So what changes is the shoulder. Let me bring the shoulder blades on over here. So instead of these shoulder blades that were on the original kit, now we have this new more angular style shoulder blades so those are new for this guy and then also the head so here's the original head that i had built for the kit when i showed it on this show originally but this one has i kind of like this head a little bit more it's a bit more yeah. sinister looking it's a bit cooler looking now this head also has a cool ability i'm not going to try and pull it, pull these parts off because they're so small but these little tiny square Parts, they, like they are molded into different colors. So if you want to have, you can put this knife blade onto his mouth. All right, so on the box, they show this off. So you have the oh, ability right, yeah. for this normal type of head or the head with the knife sticking on the front. Sideways. So that's <laughs> sideways too. That's kind of a cool feature. And of course, the biggest thing with this kit is this giant new backpack. It has really giant wings. And it's got a nice kind of jet looking mode to it. Plus these like rockets or bombs or uh, gas, what would say fuel tanks. I'm not exactly too sure what these things are. But you can, of course, you can take this off if you want. So it has a little like a joint here that holds this on. And so you just pull that off and it should snap right off of the guy. So if you want to have the backpack separate from the kit or build the kit separate from the backpack, you can do that and you can see, whoops, I, I, I pulled off part of the kit oh, and yeah. I pulled off the backpack. But yeah, that's all there is to this one is the new backpack, those shoulders and that head. So that was a quite interesting kit. Cool, Leo. Cool indeed. Oh, wait, wait. Actually, there was a couple of other things that were different. So this kit has two different guns than the original. These two guns are new for this version. And actually, I didn't bring them today, but the guns that came with the original version of this kit, I think actually looked... Whoops, that's upside down. The guns that came with this original kit were actually looked a lot cooler, I think. This <laughs> looks like a standard kind of shotgun. And yeah. This is just like your standard kind of machine gun. The original kit had these like quite a bit more complex, detailed guns, which were quite cool. So... Hey, if you like this Full Metal Panic series, it's, it's maybe worth it just to go out there and buy buy both of them, I have to say. All right, so let's also take a look now at Finally. the third thing that I've built, and that is the Yamato gun. So it comes with this really cool looking display base here. And on this display base, you have like it's a blueprint for this for like the gun itself. So that's kind of cool. I don't think this is not like the actual blueprints from the real Yamato ship. I do not believe. It's probably just based yeah. off the way they created the uh, Right, just, just the mock -up. this actually might be the blueprints for the kit itself, yeah. actually. So I just got information for the, the Yamato there and this is all in Japanese, let's see so you can focus. So it mentions like, this is a 46 cent gun, centi, so centimeters or 18 inches. All right, so the gun itself, let's put it here onto the stand. So as far as the articulation for this kit goes, actually you can move the, the barrels, they, they do move. And because this is a clear kit, you can actually see like on the inside. It's like semi-transparent. Semi, not very clear, but yeah, kind of semi-transparent. Behind the scenes is a lot cooler, I think. Yeah, so instead of me trying to pop off that clear top to get a better look at the inside, yep, as I drop it there, <laughs> let's take a look at this. So it comes with this color painting guide. So they include this in the kit to help you uh, figure out how, like, what colors it should be. So you can see, like, there's, like, the brass. You got, you got like, the brass part in, for, like, the loading area and all the internals. It's kind of this off kind of white and whatnot so that kind of looks really cool mm -hmm. you know the, the the shells at the bottom and the the gunpowder bags probably at the, the very bottom there and on the kit itself those parts are not molded in color and it comes with this clear cup that helps you be able to hold it up whoops something fell off and is rattling around <laughs> on the inside now that's not probably good like one of the rockets right so you can actually remove it from the cup if you want and if you want ever wanted to get a closer look up. So this kit is snapped together. The plastic is not as hard as you would find on like a Bandai kit. So you do have to be a bit more delicate mm. when you're snapping it together because I think, especially this bottom one here, it might be quite easy to, to break it if you are a bit too rough. So 
you do have to be a bit cautious. But once it is finished, if you are a fan of battleships or if you're a fan of ships at all and you want something unique, then this is definitely something quite interesting to have on your desk. So Fujimi has released this sh this gun as like individual kit now. So this is an individual. It only comes with one turret. But for the most part, the other versions of this kit come, or the other versions of this turret kit come with actually like three turrets in one box. So yeah. you're able to build all three turrets that they have on the ship. And I believe they had a version with the anti-aircraft guns on the top of the turret. Then they have versions of it without. This is the clear version has no anti-aircraft guns on the top and I'm wondering like what oh I see so it does come with these like kind of bronzish looking color parts only for the the doors only for the doors on the gun and it looks like one of those has off. fallen <laughs> off so it's, I'll have to try and dig that out later but yeah, I mean yeah if you are fans that ships it all or if you just want to try something a bit different than Gundam and you like to have a big collection big collection then hey why not check this out as well all right so I think, what do you say, Dave? I think, I think that's, that's about probably it. about it for all of these kids today. Coolio. Okay, so that's three kits that we took three. a closer look yep. up at this week. We never fail to, uh, you know, get good quality content out. Right. Cram it all in there. As long as it's not a perfect grade. <laughs> <laughs> now, didn't you say last week a double, ze double zero or something that you don't really like? Oh, well, yeah, I'm, I'm still working on that one. Yeah. Eventually. Eventually. Eventually I'll finish. Um, March okay. is the month. Should we do some comments? We should. Okay, so this one is from... XX Nike, Nike six two nine. Oh, Nike British. Shoes? British, you say Nike. Nike, and we say Adidas. Adidas, okay. You got some sweet pair of Nikes, mate. Yeah, mate. <laughs> got some six two nines right here. Anyway, this guy says, according to the Gundam Wiki, the FD zero three Gustav Carl gets its name from the real life Carl Gustav anti tank rocket launcher system. Okay. Can you guys please talk about the SDCS line more often? Okay, so yeah, last week we had Carl on the episode, and Carl was talking about the Carl. Yeah. And there, it's the name of that kit was the Gustav Carl, and we were wondering on that episode, is it named for the current king, king. of Sweden, who is Gustav Carl, launcher. or a rocket launcher system that Sweden also uses? Which is also it's the classic. rocket launcher. So Apparently, it's a rocket. Well, I mean, it's a Gundam. A Gundam is a mobile suit armor made for war, so you would think yeah, exactly. it's made after something like that. So that makes sense. And then he also says. He wants more SD, so the SD and then the cross silhouette kits. So those are some great kits. We previewed one last week. I didn't have a chance to put it together for this week, but those things are so quick to to put together. I think I will try to get it put together and cool. cover it on this show. All right, so. Next one is from Metal Gumpla Built, which he was on, he won I, something I maybe. I think he won recently, yeah. actually. Imagine Carl pilot, piloting Carl. Ha ha ha. I cannot wait no. for the 1 1000 Space Battleship Yamato, Yamato kit uh, review. The right. 1 1000 Dreadnought Mars class. Yeah, the Dreadnought Mars class. So actually, I think we, we previewed that. Was that this one? Yeah. Maybe that was this one. So this is, this. yeah, the yeah. Mars. So this is also on my list. I mean, I love building the Yamato kits. And we actually have I mean, another... Got like 100 of them out. I have a few because, I mean, I just love, like, ships and I love, like, battleships. So this is, like, right up my alley. And actually in March, I think Bandai is releasing a Yamato 2202 final battle version of that kit. So maybe I'll see if I can cover this ship and that ship That's on the time. same episode and make, like, a Yamato special episode. Cool. I think that is going to be my plan. Right. All right. So I think that does it then for money, the money, comments. Money. It is indeed time for 
Money, money, money. 2,000 yen store credit. Okay, Is and someone? so, do you mind holding yep. being my... The poster. The poster. Poster, poster boy. Poster boy. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so this week, the random number generator has chosen comment number... 17 and 17 is the korean korea korean koreana all right the koreana and it says that is one thick, thick boy. boy that's a good comment to win right thick that is boy. a perfect comment he to win. was probably one of the thickest boys we've had on this show for a while right yeah that that he's talking about if you guys aren't not sure what he's talking about here last Carl. week we reviewed the Carl. the hg gustav carl and that is a really nice Big, bulky chunky kit. Yeah. thick momo suit so that is the perfect comment so i will be contacting you shortly on hobbylink.tv to get you your 2000 yen hobbylink japan store credit nice all right so if you guys out there would also like to win 2000 yen hobbylink japan store credit all you need to do is go to hobbylink.tv find episode number 310 and post a comment please remember to be registered on hobbylink.tv TV. Otherwise, I have no way of contacting yeah, and you. Like and subscribe and hit the bell. Bing. And uh, yeah. Yeah. Keep watching. Keep watching. And remember, you can find us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Tumblr, Twitter, <laughs> all the social media sites. <laughs> last, that last week, you said um, you said Facegram. <laughs> Facegram. Well, I mean, Facebook owns Instagram. So. Yeah. Facegram. New Facegram. thing. Facegram. We'll Close them, just, just merge them together. I mean, at this point, how many people still use Facebook? Not many. Right? It seems like Instagram has kind of really taken off in popularity lately. And so. it destroyed uh, Snapchat. Yeah, Snapchat's gone. Type of, yeah. Anyway. Okay. We will see you next we'll time. We will see you indeed. Thank you out there for watching, and have a great week. You too.